Hey everybody, how's it going? Chaz here at GeorgeShark.com. Today I have an application called Twika. It is actually Twika Beta, but it's been in beta for quite a long time. So, yeah, it's it's definitely a, a usable app for daily use. Um, even if you're a heavy Twitter user or a light Twitter user or whatever, however you use Twitter, everyone uses it differently. Um, it's developed by a man with a strange name that I will now attempt to read to you. Tetsuya Ayawama. So, yep, he's awesome. Uh, what this app is, obviously it's a Twitter app. It um, is lightweight, and at the same time, it's got a really sleek UI, but it also does pack a lot of features, uh, like um, native or old-fashioned retweets. You have, um, a, it actually has a built-in image viewer, uh, which is pretty awesome. A lot of, only the best Twitter apps have that. So, um, yeah, it's definitely up there with um, with all the big dogs, and it's free. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at Twika. Um, open it up right here. As you can see, when you open it up, it's just got a really sleek white text on a black background. Um, really smooth to scroll. And um, when you get to the bottom, it just loads up a new set of tweets. If it will work. <laughs> um, so as you can see, these, these particular tweets are colored, and the reason why is if you tap on someone, you can hit a set color label and actually assign a colored label to that user. So anytime they post and it shows up in your timeline, it will be displayed in that color. That way you can sort of differentiate between new sites or friends or anything like that and um, just kind of uh, recognize who it is on the fly without having to really pay too much attention. Um, if you look down here you have buttons for tweets, um, replies, direct messages and a refresh button. Hit tweet brings you up to this um, also sleek interface. You have a hashtag, a link, attach and location buttons here. And so if you just start typing, um, let's go ahead. Oops. Loading screen names. I guess it's the first time it's done this, so it take a little while. Alright, so hold on. I start typing then you can select the person which is a really nice feature um, and you can also just push this attach a photo take photo attach video or take a video and this will attach your location so I'm not going to send this um, all right so when you tap on a tweet as you saw earlier it brings up uh, it shows you all the options that are available for that particular tweet. Um, you have reply to selected users, so you can actually select multiple users and reply to them as well. Or if they mention people within the tweet, you can reply to everyone there. Uh, quote and reply, which is kind of like an old-fashioned retweet, except it's more, it says quote instead of retweet, but you can change that in settings also. Uh, quote selected tweet, retweet, which is the native version. Uh, you can view their person's profile. Any links or hashtags that they post um, will show up in this list as well, so you can click those and do a search for the hashtag or follow the link. You have add to favorites, um, manage lists, set color label, and share the tweet. So if you go to your mentions, it's just like your timeline, except obviously your mentions. <laughs> um, and the way that you get back to the main page is hit the back button. And now let's go ahead, if you hit menu, you have retweets, favorites, lists, home, search, and settings, your uh, profile, who you're following, who's following you, user search, users directly, blocked users, and other stuff. Settings are too many for me to actually go through in this video, there's a lot. Um, account settings is just, you know, who you are. Um, for timeline settings, there are a lot you can change the resolution of the displayed profile icons, um, the number of tweets to load every time you get to the end of a set. So it will take longer, but it'll load more. Um, built-in preview, there's a built-in image preview system, which is very great as well. Um, and then here you also have some options to set shortcuts for your hardware buttons, which is really awesome. So you can set shortcuts for your volume up, down, search, and camera buttons. 
Volume up and down are default set to scroll up and scroll down, search is to search, and camera button will take a photo to tweet. Um, status update set, uh, settings is settings for the status update screen, send tweet on enter or don't send one on enter, um, use a dot at mark, resize photos, that sort of thing. Um, search and trending topic settings. You have notification settings to set how often it checks for new messages and should it ring, vibrate, do anything like that. Um, color label settings. You can actually set labels to each of the colors instead of just having the color itself in order to further kind of customize the way it works. So you can assign red to be like news sites or whatever and actually have it say news. Um, Theme and font settings, there's actually a light theme if that's your cup of tea, which displays a white background with black text. Personally, I like the way it comes default with the black background. But if you're more into that, then go ahead. Um, you can change the font size in your timeline and the post input um, panels as well. Profile settings, you can come in here, edit your icon and anything else uh, pertaining to your personal profile. GPS location settings, um, positioning system, either 3G or GPS, and plugins. Um, Twiga actually has a lot of plugins in the market, and um, if you install one, then you can change the settings from there. It has things like uh, TwitPic integration and some GPS stuff, and there's just too many for me to really remember or know right now, but um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of them, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess that is just about it for everything for Twika. Alright guys, so that's just about it for Twika. Um, as you can see, it is a very full featured app, um, even though it is a very small file size and it's very quick and speedy. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah. I mean, it really depends on your tastes, whether you want something with a little bit more features, um, or whether you want something light, something themable, whatever. Uh, definitely try it out if you're in the market for a Twitter app. It's free and it works pretty great. Um, so again, I'm Chaz from georgehark.com. Uh, don't forget to come back, check out all of our other awesome videos and application reviews on our website, and I'll see you guys later.